here's what's popping in the world of young Hollywood. Hey, this is Victoria Justice and you're watching Pop Stop TV. All right, Pop Stop Nation, I'm Shishi Yang here, and we are finally inside Gillette's Kiss and Tell booth with Miss Carrie Baby. How are ya? I'm so good, thank you. Yeah, so tell us about today. Are you excited to see couples kiss each other? Yeah, I'm ready to have some fun. Um, uh -huh. these, kiss, these couples are ready to pucker up uh -huh. and figure out which is more kissable, mm. a smooth face or a cleanly shaven face, not in that order. They're gonna come in with a little stubble, a little lazy stubble, okay. shave it off, and then kiss again, uh -huh. and we're gonna figure out, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna find because I know what I prefer what I pre prefer I prefer a smoothly shaven man not saying he has to take all his facial hair off uh -huh. I'm just saying that you know that lazy stubble that it like I know most men that wear facial hair have experienced a girl telling them that uh -huh. ouch or they just pull back like I've absolutely done that or avoided one out of three women have actually avoided a kiss Wow. Okay. so men think it's all sexy to have this scruff uh -huh. going on uh -huh. It's okay. not as sexy as you think you look. Oh, I like that <laughs> truth right there. So have you ever told like a guy friend or like a boyfriend like, uh, you might want to shave first before you kiss me. Have you ever said that? No, I mean, if he's my boyfriend, uh -huh. I can maybe deal with it uh, okay. right after the kiss. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna avoid, I'm not gonna like uh -huh. really avoid the kiss because of that, but yeah. I will say something later. Just say, hey, you know, babe, there's a nice way to say it. Yeah, like, babe, like, here's a gift for you for your birthday, Gillette. Let's use it. Or it's not your birthday. Your birthday was four months ago, but uh -huh. here's a razor. Take a hint. <laughs> I like that. And girl, you've been lucky enough to pretend kiss some of the hottest guys in Hollywood. Yeah. So we want to know who is the best kisser? Kanye West, Trey Sons, or Columbus Short? Out of that, those three. Hmm. Well, I only really kissed one of three, so I might have to just go by default with Trey. Okay. Trey Sons, right? Yeah. He's pretty good. Yeah, he was a good kisser. Okay. And fans are really excited to find out more about your third album. Congratulations on your junior album. Is it going to be released a quarter one of 2013? No, not the album. Um, the album will probably be released third or fourth quarter, but oh, okay. we're looking to release the first single in oh, first quarter. Okay. Um, but you know, in Carrie's world, uh -huh. uh, nothing really ever goes as the higher uppers plan uh -huh. because I do what the hell I want to do when I want to do it. Uh -huh. So I'm in the studio when I'm inspired and it just so happens right now, inspiration is gushing out of me. Oh, okay. um, yeah, so I'm in a really, really, really good place. So I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be on schedule. I know my fans okay. have waited. I took a break. They waited a long time. Yeah. But I'm ready to release some music into the universe again. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sure your fans will be so excited to see that. So what do you think they'll be surprised to see about the single? Because I know you've grown so much as an artist and you said you wanted to show a little bit more of your emotional side yeah. while still getting all different stages of Carrie in there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think they might be more surprised with how much truth you will feel this time. Uh -huh. um, I've always, I've been lucky enough to always be able to represent who I really am to the world. Um, but I'm going even deeper and even more into what has actually happened in my life. So I think they might be surprised about that, but it's done in such a way, you know, it's it's fashioned in a way that you will listen and hear the same carry that you've heard. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, where I blend hip hop and pop and R&B all in a pot and just mix it all together. You'll still hear the same Carrie, <laughs> nice. just a little growth. Yeah, and is there going to be like a collaboration with Kanye West maybe? Um, I'm always open to working with Kanye. Kanye and I make great records together, mm -hmm. so I'm not opposed to that idea. Okay. Um, and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be either if he's not too busy being um, dad, <laughs> being father. Right. Congratulations, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about that. That's going to be yeah. one beautiful and talented baby. <laughs> I know, I know. I yeah. know. You're pretty talented yourself because you're about to make your acting debut too. Yes. Congratulations, Chronicles of Rigged, uh, the continuation. Yes. Are you excited? Yeah, the Riddick film, you know, it's been, it's such a, uh, its own culture. It's, uh -huh. it's, you know, it has life yeah. in the sci-fi world. Like, it's already there. Uh -huh. um, and this film, as the studio tells me, is even better. And Vin Diesel's super excited about it. Um, I've never seen someone so talented in that realm as Vin Diesel. So it's, it's an honor to have been around him as much as I am. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I'm really excited about my acting debut. Ooh, okay. And do you get to play his sidekick or someone who's going against him? I can't tell. Okay. Actually, neither though. Oh. Neither. Oh, interesting. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna get to a couple of fan questions from Twitter real quick. All right. 
All right, let me see. Okay. So, your fans from all over the world, they've been tweeting up a storm on Twitter, and Team Carry CMR wants to know, how do you get so emotional? Yeah. CMR. CMR? I think so. Okay. Africa. Uh, how do you get so emotional in the recording booth? What triggers your emotions? Oh, reality. Um, yeah. I mean, what triggers my emotions? Um, when you're having to be introspective, uh -huh. um, and you have a need to express what is really going on in your life, that is enough to trigger, take you back. You have to take yourself back to the actual feelings of when it was happening, if it's not happening currently. Yeah. So, you know, I've tweeted about crying in the studio many Aww, times. Yeah. Um, it happens. Yeah, you just gotta be Tear realistic, right? Tears just happen, they yeah. just happen. And sometimes and out of joy uh -huh. that, you know, Okay. Yeah. And one last fan question. Uh, Team Carry Egypt wants to know if you could do a collaboration with any person from a different genre, who would it be? Um, hmm. If I could collaborate with an artist from a different genre, Gautier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Gautier or Feist. Interesting. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with us. So thank nice you. to meet you. Yes, What's up, guys? It's your girl, Carrie Hilson. I'm here at the Kiss and Tell live experiment with Gillette. I'm super excited to be here. You can check it out all on Pop Stop TV. Peace. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.